Welcome to how to bulk convert reports from Classic Viewer to Interactive Viewer using Cognos Toolkit. In this video, I'll show you how to use Cognos Toolkit to bulk convert reports from Classic Viewer to Interactive Viewer. First, we'll use the Cognos Toolkit inventory feature to locate reports for conversion. Then we'll use the conversion feature to convert those target reports from Classic Viewer to Interactive Viewer. Legacy Cognos 10 reports imported into Cognos 11 by default open in Classic Report Viewer, also known as Limited Interactivity Mode. New reports by default will open in the Enhanced Interactive Viewer, also known as Fully Interactive Mode. Legacy Custom JavaScript will not run in Interactive Viewer, and so these reports can either be run in Classic Viewer, or the Custom JavaScript can be rewritten using the new Cognos 11 Prompt API. In Cognos Analytics Reporting, an author is able to toggle a report between Classic and Interactive Viewer. But if we have a large number of reports to convert, this can become a challenge. With Cognos Toolkit, we can do this. We'll first take a look in my C11 environment where I have recently imported a number of legacy Cognos 10 reports. By default, all of these reports will open in Classic Viewer. To take advantage of enhancements in the new viewer, I'd like to convert some of these reports to Interactive Viewer. Also, I know that some of my reports have Legacy Cognos 10 custom JavaScript in them, and this won't run in Interactive Viewer, and so I don't want to convert these reports just yet. So in this case, my target reports are my Classic Viewer reports that also have no custom JavaScript in them. We'll do a quick run of one of these reports to confirm behavior in Classic Viewer. I'll run the report. and we can see the familiar look and feel of Classic Viewer here in Cognos 11. Next we'll move to Cognos Toolkit, where we've already logged on to the target Cognos 11 instance. We'll use the Analyze Content Store Inventory feature to locate our target reports. When searching, we can select a path of either entire content store, browse public folders, or only my folders. In this case, I'll select Browse Public Folders, and I'll navigate to my top-level folder that I'm interested in. And in this case, it's the Report Studio Report Samples folder that we were looking at in Cognos 11 Portal. With that selected, I now select the object type that I'd like to find. Cognos Toolkit lets us search and find a, a number of different uh, report types, as well as report-related objects, such as schedules, report views, Query Studio queries. In this case, I want to select reports. And to just to start, I'd like to go ahead and confirm my reports here that are in Classic Viewer. So I'll select from my search attributes. Um, there's a large number of search attributes we can select from. You can see we have things like broken package links, um, images, drill throughs, etc. Right now, I just want to find and confirm that the reports here that I'm looking at are Classic Viewer. So I'll go ahead and select that search attribute and click Submit. Uh, right now it's sending a query down to the content store to pull back all of the reports that are using Classic Viewer. We'll check the results and we can see here, taking a look, I can see I've got 24 reports that are uh, all of the reports in that subfolder. Uh, there was a subfolder as well that we didn't dive into there. We can see I've got some of these prompt API samples. So that's great, but now I want to confirm, since I know I have some reports here that also use JavaScript, I want to eliminate those from my conversion, so because that custom, that legacy custom JavaScript won't run in Interactive Viewer. So now I'll change my search to give me no JavaScript specifically, and I'll click Submit again. That sends a fresh request. And we can see that I get back my response. And of those 24 reports that we were just looking at, eight of those have no JavaScript in them. So these are my candidate reports for conversion to Interactive Viewer. Now that we have those, we'll switch over to the Manage Conversions tab. And here, just like on inventory, we see that we start with a path. We can uh, when we're doing conversions, we can do entire content store, browse public folders, or only my folders. But in this case, I'll take advantage of the fact that we did our uh, our search for the identified the eight reports, and we have those still available to us as the most recent search result. So I'll select that, 
Then I'll go ahead and pick for my conversion type. We can convert uh, Query Studio queries to reports. See our other demo video for that. But in this case, I want to convert from Classic Viewer or Limited Interactivity Mode to Full Interactivity Mode, also called Interactive Viewer. Uh, it's important to note we can also do conversions the other direction from Full Interactivity to Limited Interactivity. But we'll leave this at Convert from Limited to Fully Interactive. Uh, I've unchecked the find only. Uh, what it allows us to do is if we want to just do a test run uh, without making any conversions. In this case, I've unchecked find only knowing that I'm ready to go ahead and make my conversions. I'll click on submit and that will send the request to the content store to make those changes to our target eight reports. And we can see that's completed now and I get back my confirmation that my eight reports have gone ahead and been updated to full interactivity. Great. Now we can see that's complete with no errors. We'll flip back to our C11 portal to do a check on our reports. I'll just go ahead and now rerun the same report that is since we were seeing we still had that open in Classic Viewer. We'll rerun the report now that it's been updated to interactive mode just to confirm that the conversion. We can already tell from the dialogue of the running report that this is now running in interactive mode. We'll let that complete and we can tell here's the telltale parts of the GUI that are uh, using the new interactive viewer and the whole benefit now is the user can come in and certainly could not do this in classic viewer take advantage of the new features like dynamic sorting on the on a list. Thanks very much for watching this video. For more Cognos Toolkit demos, please check out the other feature videos in the Cognos Toolkit how-to series. If you'd like to hear more about Cognos Toolkit, please check the links below or reach out to us at diagtool.ca.ibm.com. Thanks very much.